Hi everyone, um, this is going to be a tag video. What's in your hair products graveyard? So I'll show you mine and then I'll show you each one individually. Here is my hair products graveyard. I actually haven't lived in this place too long so I got rid of a whole bunch a few months ago and this is just what I've accumulated since I've been living in my new place here. Okay, I'll show you each one. Okay, so the first products in my hair product graveyard are Herbal Essences None of Your Frizzness Shampoo and Conditioner. They smell amazing, but they really weigh my hair down. And I understand that it's supposed to you know, be anti-frizz, but I really felt like the conditioner just made my hair greasy and the shampoo just sort of took all the life out of my hair. The next thing is our Alberto VO5's Extra Body Volumizing Conditioner. And I bought this during a time when I was going through a no silicones phase and um, trying to do the curly hair method, which is to not use shampoo at all, to only use conditioner. But um, I just felt like this this conditioner didn't soften my hair and it I felt like I got a lot of breakage during that time that I was using this so I've only used like that much of it. The next two things I showed on my products I regret buying video they're Infusium 23 and Tresemme Fresh Start water, Fresh Start Waterless Foam Shampoo. <clears throat> this I regret buying simply because I it didn't hurt my hair but I felt like it didn't do anything special. And this, I regret, um, is in my graveyard because it really made my hair greasy, which is like the opposite of what it's supposed to do. The next two things are Pantene products. The first one is a daily renewal treatment, and it's supposed to um, correct damage. But really, once your hair is damaged, you can't correct it. The only thing you can do is cut it off. Um, I just felt like this just, again, it just weighed down my hair. And even, you know, I have curly frizzy hair and so I do use a lot of gels to weigh it down but I just felt like if I got this on my roots at all it just made it way too greasy. The next thing which is almost totally full is the frizz control treatment from Pantene and it's supposed to revive curl. Sorry about that I had to take a phone call. Um, let's see I think I was talking about this frizz control treatment from Pantene. And this bottle is almost totally full because it does nothing. It did, you know, products are so individual. And this just did nothing for my hair except to make my curls feel sticky. So that was a no. The last two are leave-in conditioner sprays. The first one is Kristoff 3-in-1 Conditions, Detangles, and Heat Protects. And I tried this back when I was still flat ironing and using a curler, curling iron on my hair a lot. And I saw a lot of damage during that time even using this. So I stopped using this. And I tried this one, which is a Nexus Humectris Lux Ultimate Moisturizing Leave-In Spray. And this did work better than the Kristoff. But um, I still felt like it wasn't protecting my hair from damage at all. So finally, um, after trying three or four different leave-in conditioner sprays, I finally found one by um, John Frieda Frizz Ease. And that I use every time I wash my hair and it works really well. It's really cut down on the amount of breakage and tangling I get. So that's what's in my hair products graveyard. Um, I might have to update this in a few months because I tend to try new products pretty often. Um, but thanks for watching and I tag anybody who wants to do this. Um, have fun with it and thanks for watching. Bye!